So Michael, we are standing here and it's quiet and wide open right now, but Saturday, this is gonna be the place to be. You got some you got some pretty cool things planned. Yeah, yeah, there's um, gonna be a, uh, we do an annual Easter egg hunt uh, for the kids. And uh, there's gonna be a couple bounce houses. We have a couple face painters coming. Uh, there's gonna be popcorn, drinks, uh, maybe snow cones. Um, it's cold and windy right now, but uh, Saturday it's supposed to be in the 60s and sunny, so uh, it should be pretty nice. Um, the main event that we're doing this year, it's the first time that we've done it, is a uh, egg drop challenge, is yeah. what we're calling it. And so that's where the, uh, the fire department is gonna come set up a fire truck right here, and they're gonna extend the tower out into the field. And we have, um, um, kids registering already uh, to make a device that will protect a, a raw egg and so the fire department is going to take these devices with the raw egg inside up in their tower and they're going to drop them from about 30 to 40 feet up in the air um, down to the ground and we're going to see which ones uh, actually survive the fall and if your egg survives the fall um, you'll be entered into a drawing for a lot of different prizes but even if your egg doesn't survive we we have prizes for everyone who's participating um, some of the prizes we have uh, have been donated by um, chick-fil-a um, sweet frog uh, Frankfurt nationals donated a pr prize package and Sky Zone donated some VIP passes so we have, we have some uh, cool prizes for anyone whose eggs survive, and then we have uh, Constellation Prizes, even if your egg doesn't survive. It's the kind of thing that you can do as a family of try to figure out how to get the egg to, to, to survive. And I know you've got, there, there are rules to all of this, and, and yes, people, yeah. can, people can find that online. Yes, yeah, there are certain um, rules and requirements and restrictions. Um, all of this can be found on uh, Goshen Baptist Church's uh, website. It's GoshenBaptistChurch.net, and then you would go to Easter at Goshen, and you should see the um, egg drop challenge and Easter egg hunt, the registration area there. And if you scroll down, you should see the egg drop uh, requirements. So we are still taking registrations through this week. Um, I think there's still a decent amount of spots left, but you want to make sure to get signed up as soon as possible before it does sell out. We can only do a limited number um, during to the time frame that we have available um, with the fire department here. So you want to make sure you get registered, follow all the uh, rules and requirements so you don't get disqualified uh, when you come to check in, and it should be a, a fun day for everyone. Uh, it's really memories for, for, for kids uh, and, and families to, to come, yeah. and this is a, a very family-friendly event, and it, but especially the egg drop is, is something that to, to right. make those kinds of things are a lot of fun. Right, yeah, it's fun just making it, you know, whether your egg survives the fall or not, it's going to be fun just making it and, and you know, having it tested out um, from that 30 to 40 foot drop, so um, I think it'll be a fun time for families, uh, the kids will have a good time. Everyone will get something. There's also the Easter egg hunt going on. Like I said, face painting, uh, snacks, uh, bounce houses. So even if your egg is not currently going up for the for the drop, uh, there's still plenty of other stuff to do while you're waiting. Um, so it's from two to four uh, this Saturday, April 2nd, here at Goshen Baptist Church in Spotsylvania. I know you in the past, when you, in, in the past, you, you've done the egg drop with, with, with uh, some of your kids. Yes, yeah, we, we have done the egg drop um, a couple times. Were you ever uh, successful? Yes, yeah, we, we, we've oh, so had... You, um, you, know the, you know the secret. <laughs> yes, we, we've had, um, I think we, we did it two different years uh, with two of my daughters, and we've had some that were successful and some that weren't. Um, I think the key is to not make the device too heavy. Yeah. So I remember we use uh, very light things. Like I remember using straws and uh, like some sort of foam and cardboard and things like that. You don't want to use anything heavy because 
the faster and harder it falls, the more likely it is that the egg's going to break. So the lighter it is and the slower it falls, the more likely the egg will probably survive. <laughs> see, these are these are these are good tips. Two to four then on on Saturday. Like you say, there's it's the egg drop, but if you don't want to do that, or there's there's plenty of other things to do with your right. with your family. Right. Yeah. There's plenty of other stuff going on. Even if you don't want to participate in the egg drop, you can, you can still watch it taking place uh, while you're doing some other stuff. Um, it is from 2 to 4. Uh, we are starting uh, check-ins as early as 1 p.m. for the egg drop. Uh, it's going to take time to get everyone checked in for the egg drop, make sure everyone's uh, devices meet the uh, requirements. And, uh, so we're doing check-ins as early as 1, but the actual egg drop challenge and everything else that's going to be going on starts at 2 o'clock.